Welcome to this video on pre-processing NGS Amplicon data by trimming and filtering sequences. To get started, open a file of reads. Typically, paired Illumina reads are provided as separate forward and reverse read lists in fast queue format. If you import these together, Genius will offer to pair the sequences and create a single paired read list on import. Alternatively, you can click sequence and set paired reads to pair them within Genius. In the sequence view, pairs are indicated by symbols showing the forward and reverse reads. For this example, we will use a subset of 50,000 paired 16S Amplicon reads. Quality trimming of Amplicon metagenomic reads ensures that minor differences in sequences caused by PCR and sequencing errors are not mistaken for valid variation. We recommend using the BBDuck plugin to trim NGS data as it has more features than the built-in Genius Trimmer. You can install BBDuck by selecting Tools and then Plugins. With the BBDuck installed, go to Annotate and Predict, then Trim with BBDuck. Set the parameters as shown to trim any remaining Illumina adapters. Remove bases below an average quality score of 30 from the ends, and remove reads that are less than 100 base pairs after end trimming. Once the trimming is complete, a second file containing your newly trimmed reads will appear in your document table. As our reads are 250 base pairs, the forward and reverse reads overlap and can be merged to create a single consensus sequence for each pair. Merging reads is beneficial as it helps to increase the accuracy and reliability of the data, especially when dealing with short reads. To merge reads, once you have your trimmed read set, navigate to Sequence and Merge Paired Reads. Set the merge rate to high and click OK. Two new files will appear after merging. One file contains unmerged reads, usually because they are too short after quality trimming. This file is labeled couldn't be merged. The other file contains the merged reads. Click on the file of merged reads and click the length graph tab. Here you'll see that a few sequences are much shorter or longer than the expected product size of around 250 base pairs. The longer sequences may either be contaminated or incorrectly merged sequences. At the same time, the very short sequences do not contain enough sequence to be correctly classified. To ensure you're working with the most relevant data, you can extract only the reads you want to keep. Simply click Extract on the linked graph and specify the desired range, such as between 150 and 260 base pairs. And that is how you pre-process your Amplicon data in Genius Prime. To learn more about Genius Prime, visit genius.com academy.